Amanda! 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 What do we want? Freedom! What do we want? Freedom! And people have to know that we exist. We are not being put in a limbo. We are coming out of the ghetto and we need more people to come and support and to come visit us sometime. Amanda! Awake! Amanda! It is time to wake up. It is right to say no to the reposition. It is right to say no to deportation. It is right now to say these children should not be damaged from their youth. It is time to give these children back their life. Amanda! Awake! Amanda! We are being treated as non-humans and our grounds for asylum are constantly disregarded and our basic human rights are violated. I was born in Galway and I was brought to court. I live in Kintia Road Accommodation Center. Uh, I have a mom and, my, and a sister. We have lived there for nine years and we all we live in a small room. We want to get a house and live there like every other child children and people in the world, we are humans too. Amanda! I want to Amanda! That the way asylum seekers are treated in Ireland is wrong. I think it's wrong that just because a child happens to be born to asylum seeking parents in a direct provision, and my child happens to be born to Irish parents, that they're growing up very differently. And children in the asylum seeker centre are treated like second class citizens and they're de being denied their basic rights as children and as humans. Languishing in these centres is cruelty. That's it. Stop! Deportation! Stop! Yeah, shouting a man who away to around Cork was was absolutely amazing. I've been at a few different protests for, for different things, but I mean, I'm absolutely hoarse after this. The enthusiasm and the motivation to stop this inhumane system was just fantastic. And I really think that there's, there's a movement behind this now, and we're going to end direct provision. The past 10 days have been hectic to everybody, but the victory is sweeter. Because we fought hard, we achieved part of what we are fighting for. Now we are here today to say round one is finished. We are going for round two. And I was an asylum seeker. I came to this country 12 years ago and I lived in the direct provision for four months. It's really important and huge that people should know what people in direct provision go through. It's hell. We want it to stop. We want it to end. We want people to be able to access work, to access education. People want to be a part of this community. Amanda! Amanda!